them for allowing them to be able to come together. And let's keep them in our prayers. So many people started well. But they didn't end right. That God will continue to strengthen them. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. First Kings chapter 2 verse 15. I want to appreciate everyone that has played great role in you know, ensuring that this comes to reality and uh, we are really grateful for your support everything you've done please let's celebrate reverend Shaye. Oh, uh, he, he has been so much very, 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 all through and of course it's the whole upgrades also Hallelujah. thank you for making uh, coming here uh, possible and easy Two years ago, the Lord spoke to me that the fire of prayer is dwindling in nations. Distraction is taking the place of petition. And my people are rather confident with prayer contractors than knowing how to pray. And that's why many people ended up in frustration. End up in the wrong hand. And he said, arise. Go from nations to nation and fan up the fire of prayer. Mm. So that's why it's called prayer invasion. Mm. We just go to nations, set up a tabernacle. We don't know anybody there. God mm. connect us to one or two people. Do everything God will have us do. Fan up the fire of prayer and then we are done. Mm. We are not here for money. We don't collect offering in any of our prayer invasions. Mm. Yeah. It's not about money. Mm. It's about the fact that if you are not equipped in the place of prayer, mm. you cannot prevail in this season. Yes. Jesus had so many wonderful experiences that the disciples saw. Mm. They saw him heal. They saw him cast out demons. Mm. They saw him multiply food. They never asked him, teach us how to preach. Mm. Mm. But there was something they didn't see him do. But they could see the result because the Bible says when Jesus will pray, he will rise up early in the morning before they wake up. He's gone. Yeah. But they discovered that behind the result of this man, there is a force. Hmm. Is do you know that it is the secret things you do that defines your outward and open results? Secret preparation is the breathing ground for massive manifestation outside. Hmm. If you don't have a secret life, by the word secret life, I'm talking about what you do personally, mm -hmm. capacity building personally, mm -hmm. what you do to help yourself. Mm -hmm. That's why even when Jesus talked about prayer, he said you will close your closet. Mm -hmm. So number one, prayer must be intentional. Mm -hmm. Prayer must be deliberate. Mm -hmm. And prayer must be personal. Mm -hmm. There is a congregational prayer, there is a corporate prayer, but if you don't have a personal <coughs> prayer life, you may not experience and enjoy massive habits of prayer in life. Prayer goes beyond asking for things. Prayer goes beyond me. Don't pray because you have need. You pray to build spiritual capacity. Yes. One of the dimensions of prayer that has gone out of the church is the prayer to build capacity. We pray to kill enemies. Hmm. We pray to cast out demons. Hmm. We pray to break through new cars, keys, promotions. Hmm. But when it is spiritual building prayer, hmm. some people don't even know what kind of prayer is that. Hmm. 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 We don't pray. Hmm. 
And that is the reason why we have them, but they don't stay long. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't have capacity to hold them. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why many depends on other people's prayer. Can I tell you the reality? Mm -hmm. When people tell you we are praying for you, 60, 70, 80, 90 percent of the time, they don't even remember your name. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's just a slogan. You are remembering the prayer. <laughs> So if your prayer is dependent on third party, you may end up as a prayer. The altar of prayer is the place of prevailing. As soon as Zion travails, so we don't wait for problem to pray. We pray so that we can come against whatever was in us. We pray to build spiritual stamina so that we can stand I mean, done all. Praise God, somebody. So the Lord told me, fan up the fire and the flame of prayer. Mm. Then we have been some places. I've been to London before I came here. From here, I'm going to Newton Keynes, and then one more meeting, and then I'll be back in. And that's one of the things that seven years ago, the Lord told me to start a 24 hours praying radio. All through day, night is just praying. And it's been a blessing to people all over the world. Global. Some people will leave the radio playing and they will be sleeping. And then they are sleeping, they see themselves playing. <laughs> Diverse testimonies of... You see, if you can pray, you can win. Yes. I'm telling you. If you can pray, you can win. Yes. But you must know that prayer must be personal. A personal life of prayer is important for you. First Kings chapter 2, verse number 15. Look at this scripture. It is thus, as I was coming up to minister, the, the Lord laid it on my heart to just give it to somebody. And he said, this was the voice of one of the sons of David, who had hijacked the throne that doesn't belong to him. Yeah. By the name Adonijah. The name looks like the name of God, but the acts look anti-God. Adonai and Jah match together. But what he was doing wasn't along with God's mind. Look at that scripture. So Adonijah here was explaining himself to the mother of Solomon. And he said, Thou knowest that the kingdom was mine. Look at the beginning. You know that the kingdom was mine. How did we know? It wasn't written for you. And all Israel set their faces on me that I should reign. Look at it. How big the kingdom is turned about. Somebody say turn about. Turn about. And it's become my brother's house. For it was his from the Lord. The kingdom was mine by covetousness. By hijacking, but it was his own from the Lord. Mm. So if there had not been intervention, he would have taken what belongs to somebody else from the Lord. Mm. It wasn't his from the Lord, but he would have taken it. And the person that he belongs to from the Lord will say, God has not done anything. Mm. So the reason why many people are saying prophetic manifestation is because there is no intercession. Mm. There is a midwife free effort needed to part. The Bible says, according to the prophecy that has gone ahead of you, that you may walk. So there was a prophecy on Solomon. Solomon will be the king. He was already prophesied. God said this by himself. But while Solomon was there, Adoni rose up. He already took it, sir. He gathered some people. But thank God for prophets like Nathan. Mm. Ay, 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 ay. That would know the mind of God. And will stand that the mind of God must not be changed. Mm. Those are intercessors. Mm. They are the midwifery that God used for so long. So he quickly went to Bathsheba and said, look here, you are here. What God has prophesied for your son, 
Adunija has gathered people together. I'm prophesying to somebody Amen. that what is yours from the Lord, Amen. that somebody else has hijacked, mm. already diverted, mm. and they are taking glory of God, will bring it back Amen. to you. Amen. Amen. I said, God will bring it back to you. Amen. So many times there is prophetic heaven is loaded. Your prophetic heaven is pregnant. Then the manifestation is scanty mm. because there is no intercession. Mm. That was why Bashem went to David. He said, Sir, I don't need that. I've already taken over. David said, It can be. That was when they now took the tune back to Solomon. So I don't need that was not explaining himself in that verse I read to you. First King 2.15. The kingdom, the throne is mine. From where? I took it. But it was my brothers from the Lord. So if my brother has been slacked and there is no intercession, I will have gone with it. Yeah. Why did I give you that? I want you to leave this place and take it back because it belongs to you from the Lord. Amen. Amen. You must give him no rest until he has established Jerusalem. Amen. Am I making sense here? Yes. You don't stop saying it until you see it. Because if he has said it, he has done it. Oh, yes. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So, something is yours from the Lord, but while you are still waiting for it, somebody else is already enjoying it. Hmm. Because someone was not standing in the garden. Hmm. That is one of the things that prayer does. Hmm. Standing until you start seeing what God has said. Standing until you start experiencing the promises of God. Mm. That's why I have come to decree over your life mm. that you will no more just be recording prophecies. Amen. You will start experiencing performances. Amen. I say performances. Amen. I say performances. Amen. I say performances. Amen. I say performances. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. To help your prayer life, you have been privileged to write some few books in the area of prayer. I brought some of them. Take advantage of it to build your spiritual destiny. Can, can you help me? But very briefly, I just want to share something because I want to make sure we, we, we leave here early so that we don't come and uh, thank you. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> just take one and uh, I think there is another one there. Living a victorious Christian life will show you how to live a triumphant life, especially in this spinning world. Because you are born again does not automatically mean that you will reign in life. You are designed to reign, but you may not. God prophesied Solomon to be king, but because it was prophesied, it did not automatically hand it over to him. Breakthrough, this is one of mine. I love this one. Breakthrough, breakthrough is a compendium of prayers. In this book, I shared something about the prevailing power of prayer. I talked about how the power of prayer positions us to prevail in life. <coughs> prayer does, it, does not just change things. Prayer changes you. Yes. Amen. On the mountain of transfiguration, all that transfigured Jesus was prayer. Mm -hmm. So prayer is not just to change things. Prayer is also to change you. It must change you from a weak lane into a ferocious, powerful entity in the kingdom. Amen. That what you used to run from before begin to run for you. Amen. That's what it happens. When they need that boldness, sir, they prayed that you act upon that before, that you give us boldness. And then boldness came. You can pray that boldness when you are coming. And when they want to silence their voice, they became a voice. Mm -hmm. Someone is leaving this meeting because the next thing is also to impact you with the fire of prayer. That you will get home and something taps you 1 a.m. You don't, you can't just stay. There is a body. You don't see something swelling in you. Lick a back that that. And you want to stop, you just can't stop. Because it's coming from you. That's prayer. You're struggling to pray, you are missing something. Mm -hmm. It is called the spirit of grace and supplication. Mm -hmm. So we found out what is in us. I, 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 I was thinking about that. I wish I'd made this meeting two days. Mm -hmm. 
Since I was still here tomorrow, I was thinking about that. So that tomorrow we just spend like one hour just praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. just, just one, I close the church one day, I knock them up for seven hours. Just blast mm -hmm. shutting down, take what I got. Look at the hand. So you can't come out of something like that. And this will shift for me, man. You know what you have just done? You have robbed mind with the spirit. Mm -hmm. We live in the spirit world. Everything controlled in the world is rooted in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. If your spirit is weak, your life will be weak. Mm -hmm. Spend time building spiritual muscle mm -hmm. so they don't end up as a victim mm -hmm. of what the devil is doing. The devil is real. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes, but when you build spiritual capacity, because your capacity affects your ability. Mm -hmm. So get the books, you're going to be there. I believe they told me it's 10. Is it euro you used here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 10 euro, but if you can get any two, you can get it for 15 euro. I think they have, I have some other ones there, but you need to, maybe after we finish. But I will appreciate if you get it because I almost had excess luggage as I was coming. <laughs> and I don't want to go back and have excess luggage. Praise the Lord. So it's going to be a blessing to you as well. All right, let's look at something and um, we just spend a few minutes speaking for some things in our spirit. So remember, that we pray to charge our life. Mm -hmm. Why do we pray? Number one, number two, we pray. Because prayer is the tool for downloading what is uploaded in heaven. Mm -hmm. Our Father, what in heaven? I will be thy like, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. So it is in the place of prayer we download what is already in heaven to manifest on the earth. Mm -hmm. That was why Jesus spent most of his time pray. Mm. And then you hear him say, I don't say things of my own way. As I hear the father, where did he hear the father? Then now 33 verse 3, call upon me and I will answer you. I will show you. So one of the ways God answers prayer is for show. Mm. So the place of prayer is the place of direction. Mm. Prayer activates revelation. Mm. Am I making sense to somebody here? Yes. So start praying so that you can start winning. Very briefly, I want to share something because the theme of this meeting is go higher. Somebody say go higher. Go higher. And I want to share what I entitled Empowered to Go Higher. Empowered to Go Higher. Ezra. Ezra. Somebody say, is that scripture? Is there? It's Ezra. Ezra, don't worry, I have accent. You have your own too. We all have accent. Ezra. I was in the mall one day in the, in the land and then one woman said, Hey, excuse me, you have accent. I said, The one you just said, man, is also accent. <laughs> there is no accent that is higher than the other accent. There is no, it's just different. Yes. Amen. Yes. So don't let anybody intimidate you that you have accent. You, the one you said also is accent. Yes. Uh, it's accent. <laughs> accent minus accent is not accident. <laughs> Ezra chapter 4, verse 23 to 24. Look at this. Ezra chapter number 4. Verse 23 to 24, and then we look at chapter 5, verse 1 to 3. Ezra, chapter number 4, verse 23 to 24. The Bible says, Now, when the copy of King Atis' letter was read before Reu and Shimshai, the scribe, and their companions, they went up in haste to Jerusalem unto the Jews, and they made them to cease by force and by power. What did they make to cease the work of the Lord? God told them to go and build the wall. God made provision through Cyrus and they were building. And as they were building, some people don't like it. There are forces that are not happy when good things are happening to you. Yes. Their assignment is to make sure that you are frustrated and you don't get results. Mm -hmm. But from today, when they make such moves against you, they will fail. Amen. Amen. You don't even believe in that prayer. Amen. I said they will fail. Amen. So look at it. Then, by power and by force, they made the work to cease of the house of the Lord, which was in Jerusalem. So the work ceased. Second year of the reign of Darius. Look at me. God started the project. God made the provision. And then a force, the name doesn't look well. Rehu and Shimshai. Shimshai. Looks like something from one side. Shimshai. They stopped God's work. And God 
and heaven was looking. Follow me very closely. Because sometimes we want God to do all. We are waiting on God and God said, I'm only waiting on you. Mm -hmm. Moses, why are you calling on me? Something is in your hand. It is the tool you need for where you are going. Stretch the rod. You don't need to call on me. I have already downloaded what you need. So God is saying here, sometimes we are waiting on God and heaven is saying we are waiting on you to make a statement. Mm. There was darkness in Genesis chapter 1. The same spirit was hovering over the deep but he couldn't do anything. Because there has not been spoken. Another hmm. Until God said, let there be light, the spirit didn't go into action. Yes. The spirit was there. Your angels are waiting for your instruction. Hmm. So what? The work of the Lord stopped. But in chapter 5, that is why we are here right now, this few minutes. The Bible says, then the prophets, they were also part of them. The priest, Agai the prophet, and Zechariah the son of Edo, prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah. And in the name of the Lord God of Israel, even unto them, then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Sheatel, and Joshua the son of Josadak, and they began to be. They have stopped them for almost two years. The prophets were there. But until they entered into their realm, nothing happened. God didn't do anything. Until they shifted from allowing what is happening to them to define them, they started happening to what is happening to them. Don't worry. I, get, I create English when I preach. So <laughs> you must happen to life. Life must not just happen to you. Yes. <laughs> uh, you. You don't just watch life happen to you. Happen to life. That's what it is. Amen. Amen. God help me tonight. So the work says the prophets were there. They had what it takes, but they were muted. Hmm. Whatever can mute your voice in prayer can silence your voice of the spirit. This one pray and pray. Let me pray for you. Whatever has been muting your voice, I lose it now. Amen. Yeah. They were prophets, huh? They had the anointing. They had the capacity to shift atmosphere. But they were looking. Mm. And God was also looking. Mm. And the work of God was stopped by the two forces entity. Mm. But in chapter 5, the prophet probably told himself, or somebody came to town like this to steer up something in them. Yeah. I said, What are you waiting for? You are too loaded to be stranded, too needed to be wasted, too defended to be defeated, too connected to be stranded. Why are you now waiting? What you carry is enough to sustain you through the journey. And then you are not doing anything. Then the prophet will consider something is wrong with us. And as they began to prophesy, the people that are stopped working, that were afraid of the enemy, they got back to work. They started building the house. And the Bible says even the prophet joined them to help them. Yeah. As they were building, the same people came to stop them. But the Bible says, I love what the Bible says. This is my prayer for you right now. Now look at verse number 6. Now let's, let's look at the, uh, uh, verse number 4. And then they came to talk to them about the matter. But look at verse number 5. Read it for me. They, they came to stop them again. For the eye of their God. But the eye, the eye of their God was upon them. Uh, yes, ma'am. That they could not cause them to see. They, 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 what made them stop them before? Something was missing. But when they found out something, the atmosphere shifted. Something dropped on the people. They gained strength to stop you. And the opposition came again. But they couldn't stop them. What has changed is that they have built capacity. As the prophets were prophesying, something was burning in them. We can do this thing. Why did we have had them stop us before? We can build this house. We can go higher. We can do more than this. I have come to steer you up. It is time to go higher. You have tried long on this mountain long enough. You have tried on this level long enough. It is time to go higher. It is time to take your place. It is time to stop allowing the enemy to define what happens to you. Because you have something. You have the capacity to shift things. If only you will enter your element. Until the prophets enter their spiritual element. Nothing happened among them. They stopped them like they stopped order. From today, what wasted order will no more waste. What stopped 
others will not be able to stop you Amen. Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. to get back home and start building up you have the prophetic spirit in you start prophesying I'm going to start this thing there is somebody here you have a project that you have stopped you have an incomplete project you are leaving this place with a mantle of completion so you are finish what you have begun you will not just finish you will finish where in the mighty name of Jesus Christ so they stop there but the prophet got off after a long time, maybe you have been delayed, you have been held down, you have been hindered. It's time to go back there. Because for the next 15 minutes, I know time is up, you're going to find something on the side. As the prophet was prophesying, something was dropping in there. Why did we allow them to stop us? Why would I allow the devil to determine when I sleep or when I don't sleep? Some people can't sleep, they just can't close their eyes. It is one demonic activity or the other. That demonic must stop. Amen. You must wake up and say, this body is a temple. Yes. You don't bait me, you don't feed me. Mm. You don't clothe me, you have no right over this body. Yes. Until you learn how to speak from your elements, where you may come to, you may continue to be a victim of what the devil wants you to be experiencing. Am I making sense to somebody? Yes. Yes. I have only come to empower you to go higher. To go higher in your prayer life. Amen. To go higher in your commitment to God. Amen. You have worked long enough on this mountain. Amen. Mountain of complaining. Mountain of impossibility. You have prayed long enough on this mountain of procrastination. You have prayed long enough on the mountain of impossible. It cannot be done. I am tired. I'm tired. No! You are something. He that is in you is greater than you that is in the world. Yes. Come today as one of those prophets to come and stir up something in your spirit mm. that it is time for you to begin to take over your place. Yes. Do you know God did not just bring you here because he doesn't have something for you? Mm. There is a purpose why you are here. Yes, there is a program of heaven why you are yes, here. Lord. And you need to start manifesting. Amen. You need to start telling the God with my children is not your candidate. Amen. You can't take this child. You can't take this child. Amen. You can't take my husband. You can't take my life. You can't take my job. That's why I'm here. I'm not making sense here. Yes, and stop crying when it comes against you. Mm. You stand in your place. Mm. Sometimes. Mm. Until they did what they needed to do, God didn't do what he needed to do. Yes. Mm. When they get back working, the Bible says the eyes of their God was now there. Mm. Mm. Why they stop God is supposed to? Until you shift things. And one of the things that shift your atmosphere is your prayer life. Mm. Mm. Your prayer life. The prophets were adored, but they got back into intercession. As they were staring on something, their spiritual capacity elements came on them. They began to prophesy. As they were prophesying, the people also gained strength. Prophecy is beyond all these years. Your society authority number, your plate number. We have gone past one. Those one you told me, I know it already. I know my social security number. What do you call it here? N N N H S. I know my plate number. I know my father's name. I know my mother's name. Wait, did, did you not know it? Yes. You don't really know this one. So tell me something I don't know. Yes, sir. Prophecy is beyond saying things. Yes. Prophecy has something to do with standing on spirit. Yes, but the, uh, the dry bones didn't hear. They were dry. But as what prophesied, something entered them. That's part of prophecy. So don't just be waiting for them to say, the man of God didn't see vision for me. My friend, we are past that level. I believe in the prophetic and privilege of the one, but we are past that level. Yes, sir. We are past that level. Mm. Because why? There is a spirit in man. Mm. And the inspiration mm. of the Almighty. Yeah. Everyone yeah. understand it. Yeah. You don't need to be a prophet to prophesy. Yeah. You this time that prophesy upon you. Yeah. You will be the head and not the tail. Yeah. I don't care what the devil is trying to do with you, yeah. but you will be who God wants you to be. Yeah. You yeah. take charge. Yeah. But you can't do that if your spirit is weak. Mm. Like the prophets who don't prophesy. Mm. Because they were destroyed by what has come against them. Mm. But when they got back into their element, they stood against what stood against them. Yes. They stopped what stopped them. Mm. They silenced what silenced them. Mm. Is somebody here getting something at all? Yes. Right, so on. I don't know if something is calling you. Say, by the time I get home, yeah. 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 do this that want to come and molest me in the night. Come again. Come back. Come back. Hey. Come back. Hey. Come back. Hey. Because this time around you won't survive. Mm. I'm not making sense here. Yes, Somebody said they will fire you at work and you are crying. You don't know what you carry. Why don't you get there? The heart is the Lord and the everything that God has. I am here, signed by God. I'm not here, nothing works here. Mm. I'm not making sense to you. Yes, the next 10 minutes, I want you to take charge. Something must drop on you. Amen. Something must drop on you. Amen. I said something must drop on yeah. you. As the prophets were prophesying, 
empowerment came upon the people that has been stopped. Power came on them. And they began to do what they could not do before. They began to dare what they could not dare before. And they finished it. Because the eyes of their God was upon them. Please, before you start praying, look at this scripture. One person just read Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse number 1. They're just going to pray in the spirit for the next 10 minutes and fire up something from within you. There is a spirit that comes upon man in the place of prayer. It's the spirit of intercession. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 1. Is somebody reading for me? So I return. I return. I return. Thank you, sir. And considered all the oppression. Oh, how God. many oppressions has? All, all, all the oppression you can name in the world. I consider them. What happened? I don't under the sun. Yes, sir. And behold, the and tears. The tears of death are of oppressed. Such as they are oppressed. Uh -huh. And they have no comfort. They have no comfort. Another word for comfort is power. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And on the side of the oppressor. On the side of the oppressor. There was power. What was there? Power. Uh -huh. But on their side, but they had no comforter. They had no comforter. Mm. So the reason why they were oppressed was because the enemy had what they lacked. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. On the side of the oppressor, there was power. Yeah. But on the side of the oppressed, they were powerless. Mm. So to be powerless is to be cheaply defeated. Mm. To be powerless is to be easily stranded. Mm. When power is in the wrong hand, the right people will misplace. Mm. There is an evil I saw under the sun. Mm. A king and the priest walking, mm. and the slave sitting on the earth. Mm. He said it's an evil. Mm. It's an evil disease. Mm. Something was missing in the prince. He lacked power to take his place. As you pray tonight, I pray over you. I want to stand higher. you suka pahande leke ti ahando saya. That the power to prevail come upon him. Oh. The power to in the name of Jesus. Listen. It is time to go higher. No, this is not you. This wasn't how you started. You are, you are lower than how you used to be. Your, your prayer life has gone down the drain. Your spiritual fervency is dead. You have lost some spiritual fire and gift. I just want to start. You know, there is something that happened. I don't know if you have it. I believe you should have it. There's something they call jump back in. Mm -hmm. There is something that you can jump back. When your battery is down, when your battery is down, you need some higher battery and a connecting cable. When they kickstart that one, it supplies it supplies something to your heart and you can go on with that. Another case is here. Please, it is true and God. It is true and God. This is the apex of this one. Something was going until the prophet received back their prophetic mm. control. They couldn't perform their assignment. Mm. And some, do you know, some destinies are attached to you, man. Mm -hmm. Some life are attached to you. Mm. If you don't take your place, they may be misplaced. Yes. Yes. They also might be replaced. Mm -hmm. Because you must take your place also in this land mm. so that some earth can be lifted. I can prophesy to some people's life as you say, Amen. Yet yeah, they are taking you away from where you should be. God will catapult you back. Amen. He will catapult you back there. He will catapult you back there. In the mighty name of Jesus. He was the Lamb of God. Let's go. Let's close our eyes. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Dimension in prayer. Pray it all. Building up your most holy faith. Pray it in the spirit. It will drop on it. It will drop on it. It is dropping 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 on it. I see the Holy Ghost all over this sanctuary. All over this place. There is spirit of fire. That is spirit of fire. The fire of my prayer. Take it. Take it all over. It is dropping on it. You are weak in prayer. That is an energization. That is an energization. That is a spiritual energization going on. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Take a shot. 
And increase in favor with God and man, that they will increase in stars, in wisdom, in favor, increase in power, in anointing, in a prayers of the Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Amen. Open my heart to see. Exchange of garment, there is an exchange. Lord, when is that person touch that person right now? In the name of Jesus, power of the Holy Ghost everywhere, everywhere. God is pulling someone out from dark places. That's it. In the name of Jesus, let our power touch that one. Touch and touch and touch up. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. E kadana zuke bere giri handa lava. Now I ask, oh God, for the impartation, the infusion of the Spirit of prayer. 
yes. that the flame and the fire of prayer yes. be fanned up. Yes. An impartation of the spirit of prayer. Yes. An impartation of the spirit of intercession. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. let every affliction be healed right now. Yes. Now go home with this supernatural power. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes. go home with this supernatural power. Yes. That's why right. some of you begin to feel it in your hand right now. That's it, 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 that's it,
what came on you today from heaven will never die. Amen. Amen. Lord, even as they go home tonight, fan of the fire of prayer. Amen. 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 Let everything change for them. Amen. Amen. Now, every desire you brought here, let it be granted. Amen. Amen. Everyone that is sick in the body, be healed in Jesus. Amen. Amen. I take authority over high blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis, eye problem, ear problem. Back pain, spinal cord issue. In the name of Jesus, every stomach also asthma. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I take authority. I rebuke every inefficiency. In the name of Jesus, be in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. As you go, the Lord go with you. Amen. Let every good thing of this land begin to find you. Amen. What you call will answer to you. Amen. What you decree begin to see the result. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God praise, everybody. Hallelujah. Walk with God. Let us be seated. We are, we are, we are trying. Walk with God. Walk with God. Walk with God. Build a life in God. Don't just be zigzag. Be planted and walk with God. Do you have the prayer, the, the prayer requested? Do you have it? The, Do you have it, man? The prayer request. The prayer request. I need it, man. Oh, you didn't have it. Okay, no problem. Alright, no problem. Um, I want to pray. I want to be praying on your request for the different response. Um, can you go to this website www.prayerwonder.com prayerwonder.com I, pr I want to take your request and be praying over it so you can go to that website you'll find a prayer request from there fill it there prayerwonder.com you can write it down prayerwonder.com and you know I will be praying over it there's going to be a massive turnaround Amen. in the atmosphere Amen. get the books it's going to be a great blessing to you the Lord bless you. I love you with the love of Jesus. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe we are all blessed. We thank God for all what I believe He has done in our midst today. Amen. And all what you have received today will be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see, we thank God for the man of God who came all the way from America to bless you. Eh? You know, Pastor Benjamin Beckley from Power Empowerment Center in Texas. So we thank God for your life and God will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. As we're here, we have some books here if you want to buy. Even if you buy one, get the second one half price. So two for 15 euro or one for 10 euro. If you want, please, you can just let us know. We give it to you. And at the same time, if you want to see him because of the time factor, he's around here tomorrow, all day. I won't be here, but you can call 089-243-8613. For those that have my number, you can call me. Then we can book an appointment the time that you can see him. Then we can, you know, come to see him tomorrow. He's be here in Portage all day tomorrow. He's going back on Friday to UK by special grace of God. And at the same time, I use this opportunity to turn the men of God and everyone that is here. It's a very short notice. And actually, you know, we are giving praise to Almighty God, seeing faces coming together to pray together. There's nothing like it because this is what churches have lacked nowadays. All what churches is doing is tight and offering. Yeah. What churches are doing now is blessing by five books of blessing. You see that the prayer life is no more. And that is the way the devil, all the plans of devil against churches. Yeah. We don't pray. If you can remember, I thank God for most of us that are here, that maybe we can remember <laughs> 10, 15 years ago, even when you comes to church, before you start serving, you start, you start speaking in tongues, everybody's praising, but it's no more there now. What is there that you will see people come to church for, for fashion? And some they are coming, even if you are an African, they like to go to African churches because, hey, mama, someone, I've already bought this something from Dubai, and we want to buy, just for market. But to come together to pray is no more. Please, let us build the life of prayer. Let us be to pray together. You know, and again, another thing is that we find it very, very difficult even to get a prayer partner. 
because sometimes you can't do it alone. But you are afraid sometimes it's better to radio station than say that you want a prayer partner because the person you take as a prayer, before you close your eyes, your prayer requests have been broadcast into the whole world. You know, let's build a connection in which you can be praying together. Let us try to continue to organize a meeting where we can come together to pray. And I pray that the power of God will not depart in our life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And then you can see that people go all far away and order to this program. I thank my sister for Galway. You know, they're here for this program from Dublin and from Portlish in County Leash, you know, and all comes together to pray. Them. And I pray today in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not regret coming here today in Jesus' name. Amen. And I pray. You see, the one thing that I, you know, we also used to sing anywhere this goes, you always do wonders. As you come here to seek his face, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. A good thing, a memorable, memorable thing will happen in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. And then before we just say a prayer, final prayer, prayer.